Patty Boyd, the enchantress of two of the greatest rock and roll guitarists of all time. Her presence alone inspires songs like Layla, Wonderful Tonight, and although George Harrison says it wasn't really about Patty, she maintains the song Something was about her too. But Layla has such an intriguing, romantically devastating way about it, where Eric Clapton, at the time in the band Derek and the Dominoes, would use an ancient Arabian love story and his longing to be with his great friend George Harrison's wife. This is the story of Layla. What will you do when you get lonely? That's a hell of a way to kick off a song as you pine for a married woman. Eric Clapton was in love with Patty Boyd, but she was married to George Harrison of the Beatles. Well, after reading the book, The Story of Layla and Majnun, written by the Persian poet Nizami Ganjavi in the 12th century, based on a love story that originated in the 7th century about an Arabian princess whose father marries her off, leaving her true love Majnun in despair. He went mad from heartbreak after hearing about Layla's marriage and fled his tribe to wander the desert. It is said Majnun would recite poetry to himself about Layla and write them in the sand with his staff. The story continues that Layla dies of a broken heart from being taken away from Majnun and Majnun was found dead in the wilderness near Layla's grave. And before he passed, Majnun wrote her a poem on a stone near her grave. It reads, I pass by these walls, the walls of Layla, and I kiss this wall and that wall. It's not love of the walls that has enraptured my heart, but of the one who dwells within them. Wow, I don't think I can listen to this song without dreaming about this incredibly romantic story. And of course, I don't pretend to know everything about the history of rock and roll. I do my research and sometimes I make mistakes. Okay, a lot of mistakes. But I have to say, before I continue the story of Layla, it's such a joy to have the opportunity to learn all these things and package them together for all of you. In a way, we're learning and hearing these beautiful stories together. I'm not your host. I'm no professor. I'm just a fan of music like you. It feels more like we're telling stories around a campfire. Over 50,000 people around a campfire. Anyway, Eric is moved by this story because it's obviously parallel to what's happening to him. He must be feeling insane loving a woman who is married to one of his best friends. And in a way, songs like these are the only way he can express his love for Patty. Eric's writing partner at the time, Bobby Whitlock, maintains Eric wrote the song all by himself. But as the years go by, some controversies arose about who came up with the opening guitar riff, where Dwayne Allman of the Allman Brothers is credited. But Bobby Whitlock says that riff was already there. And maybe perhaps Allman's contribution is to speeding up the opening riff. He continues to say that the song also formed with ease. Bobby says, there had been some kind of telepathy going on because I've never seen spontaneous inspiration happen at that rate and level. One of them would play something and the other would react instantaneously. Not once did either of them have to say, could you play that again, please? It was like two hands on a glove. Bobby also laments that Dwayne's slide guitar was out of tune. I had to check it out because I didn't notice it after all these years. Guys, it's out of tune, like really out of tune. For copyright reasons, I can't play it for you here, but I'd leave a link in the description where you can hear it for yourself. Bobby says if Eric Clapton had done the slide guitar, it would have sounded a lot better. Bobby also, also says that the piano coda in the middle of the song sounds like a mess. What do you think? Do you enjoy that part? Let's talk about it in the comments. Finally, by the time the full seven minute version was released a year after the US single, Derek and the Dominoes had broken up and Eric Clapton was in the throes of a heroin addiction. However, Eric's song about unrequited love seemed to be a catalyst for him and Patty. Patty Boyd says, I wasn't so happy when Eric wrote Layla. While I was still married to George, I felt I was being exposed. I was amazed and thrilled at the song. It was so passionate and devastatingly dramatic, but I wanted to hang on to my marriage. Eric made this public declaration of love. I resisted his attentions for a long time. I didn't want to leave my husband. But obviously, when things got so excruciatingly bad for George and me, it was the end of our relationship. We both had to move on. When Eric owned up to what he was doing with Patty, to George Harrison, saying, I'm taking your wife, George replied, you can have her. Eric and Patty would marry, 
and being a man of class, George Harrison attended their wedding along with Ringo and Paul. Patty and Eric didn't last forever and eventually divorced, but as they say, it's better to have loved and lost than never to have loved at all. If you enjoy these videos and want to support the channel, please consider becoming a patron. My videos will always be free and this is a great way to help me make them better for you. Check out my debut album, The Holly Hobbs, on Spotify and Apple Music and click the like button, subscribe and notification bell because that is the best way to get notified when a new video is released. See you next time.